King of all Israel. So we're going to ask the deacons to cover the doors, mess to cover the pulpit as I do the Lord's Prayer. So, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Let thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Congregation song.
Yes, in a minute, a couple of hours, you can do it. Meditation of our hearts be acceptable in our sight. Well, the Father, we know that thou have made us and love us and want us to be obedient to thy word. And we do thank thee for thy doing love towards us. Help us to be peaceful in mind and heart and lead us in our truth and life, which shall fulfill our lives each day according to thy will. We know that thou have made us, we do acknowledge thee, excuse me. And know if you shall keep thy commandments, thou will direct our pathways in righteousness. Help us to be grateful for thy loving guidance, which is without cause, a rich with love, joy, and peace, which cannot be bought or sold or taken away. And to the Jews of joy, Holy Father, please our little prosperity for which we have need of. Help us to reach one of thee, that we can truly renew our strength to live and not be sick. We shall walk in perfect health with thee. Now the Father, charge us with thy power, love, so that we may be able to live eternally, and help us to be worthy of these in all other blessings. But thou see if we have need. We ask these blessings. In the name of the Lord God of Israel, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Alleluia. Woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Israel. Woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Israel. 
Joker this morning with my mind Stayed on his track Woke up this morning with my mind Stayed on his track Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah We're walking and serving with my mind Working and serving with my mind, stayed on his land. Working and serving with my mind, stayed on his land. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, no confusion in my mind. Will it stayed on his back? No confusion in my mind. Will it stayed on his back? No confusion in my mind. Will it stayed on his back? Hallelujah. 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 Woke up this morning with my mind Stayed on his back Woke up this morning with my mind Stayed on his back I woke up this morning with my mind Stayed on his back Hallelujah, hallelujah Hallelujah. Esther, the minister cut off it. You can do doors. As everyone understand, place your right hand over your heart. As I go through the open ceremony by saying, Genesis 35th chapter, 9th to 11th verses. And God appeared unto Jacob again. And he came after Dan Maram of Lestia. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. The name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Be fearful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations be of thee. And kings shall come thy loins, members. Exodus 4th chapter, 22nd, 23rd verse. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, thus said the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I want to say unto thee, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. Numbers. Isaiah, for the third chapter, first through seven verses. For now thou said, For now thou said the Lord, the creator of Jacob, and he that formed your Israel fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I call thee by thy name, thou art mine. Now passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers that shall not overflow thee. Nor walketh through the fire that shall not be burned, neither shall the flame kill upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God. The Holy One of Israel, thy Savior, I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Sibia for thee. Since thou was precious in my sight, I have been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy light. Fear not, for I am with thee. I bring thy seeds from the east, and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth, even every one that's called by my name. I created him for my glory. I formed him. You have made it. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. Ezekiel, 37 chapter, 20 to the 28 verse. 
and the sticks put on thy right hand shall be in thy hands before thy eyes. And say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathens, whether they be God, and gather them on every side, and bring them to their own land. I will make them one nation in the land upon the mounts of Israel. Members. Oh, my God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's of God. And one king shall be king to them all. There shall be no more two nations. Neither shall they be divided in two, two kingdoms anymore at all. Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols, nor their testable things, nor any of their transgression. But I will save them. I will dwell in places where they have sinned. I will cleanse them. So shall they be my people. And I will be their God members. Lord God, is there. Help us love thee. And then we shall be the true Israel of God. And David, my servant, shall be king over them. They shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgment and observe my statue to do them. They shall dwell on the land and give it unto Jacob, my servant. When your fathers shall dwell, they shall dwell at the end, even they and their children, and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be prince forever. Members. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. I will place them and multiply them, and set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle shall also be with them. Yea, I will be their God, and it shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, will sanctify Israel. When my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. Members. Isaiah, the 45th chapter, 16, 17 verses. Acts, 13 chapter, 22nd, 23rd verse. Romans, 11 chapter, 26th verse. Galatians, the 6th chapter, the 15th and 16th verse. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion and gather thy makers idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord, everlasting salvation. He shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end, members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. And when he had removed him, he read up unto David to be thy king, to whom he gave testimony and said, I found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed is God, according to his promise. Praise unto Israel, Savior Jesus. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us love thee, and then we shall be the true Israels of God. And so Israel shall be saved, as it is written. It's come out of Zion to deliver, and turn away our guidance from Jacob. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us love thee, and then we shall be the true Israels of God. For Christ Jesus, Neither circumcision of better or anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature, as many as walk according to this rule. Peace be on them, and mercy, and upon our Israel of God, members. Lord God of Israel, help us love thee, and then we shall be the truth of Israel of God. Let's all keep our minds to teaching the King of all Israel, as we go through the prayer by saying, Lord God of Israel, Lord God of Israel, there's no God. There is no God. Like unto thee. Like unto thee. And thy name is great. Thy name is great. It shall. Shall. It must be honored. Must be honored. For all the truths of God. All the true Israels of God. Help us who so die. Help us so die. From this world. From this world. And ourselves. And ourselves. That thy kingdom. Thy kingdom. And pretty come to us. Pretty come to us. Help us to so be dead. Help us so be dead. To the world. To the world. And ourselves. And ourselves. That we might be freely willing. We might be freely willing. For the will to be done. Our will. Both in our bodies. Both in our bodies. And spirit. And spirit. Help us to so love thee. Help us so love thee. That it will only be. That it will only be. Thy will. Thy will. To deliver us. To deliver us. From all thy hate. All thy hate. And lead us only. Lead us only. To that that I love it. That I love it. 
Give us and teach us. Give us and teach us. Thy will and way. Thy will and way. Each day. Each day. As we're able to receive it. As we're able to receive it. All the kingdoms of thine. All the kingdoms of thine. And if we love thee. Love thee. Thou freely give. Thou freely give. And bless us. And bless us. With it in them. With it in them. All powers in thy hand. All powers in thy hand. And if we love thee. Love thee. Thou freely give. Thou freely give. Thy power to us. Thy power to us. Help us to so love thee. Help us to love thee. That we can be. Can be. The true is of God. Real, real God. Thy place. place. Salvation is thine. Salvation is thine. For Israel, thy glory. Israel, thy glory. These are the blessings. These are the blessings. We ask. We ask. Name the Father. Name the Father. Name the Son. The Son. And the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 Collection by the choir. I cannot take the world and hold it in my hand. I cannot take the lightning and flash it across the land. I cannot crack a piece of glass.
I'd like to thank the choir for the beautiful selection. I'm going to call uh, the minister of the altar, Deacon the doors. Our thing is to obey the God of Israel, found in Job 36 chapter, 4th through the 12th verses, subject in the 11th and 12th verses. And it should be read by Trustee Kathy Rubber. Thank you. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel, to read the scripture tonight. And it has been stated, the lesson is in Job, the 36th chapter, the 4th through the 12th verses, and the subject being in the 11th and 12th verses. And it reads as follows. For truly my words shall not be false. He that is perfect in knowledge is with thee. Behold, God is mighty and despiseth not any. He is mighty in strength and wisdom. He preserveth not the life of the wicked, but giveth right to the poor. He withdraweth not his eyes from the righteous, but with kings are they on the throne. Yea, he doth establish them forever, and they are exalted. And if they be bound in fetters, and be holden in cords of affliction, then he showeth them their work and their transgressions that they have exceeded. He openeth also their ear to discipline, and commandeth that they return from iniquity. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword and they shall die without knowledge. And the subject verses are the 11th and 12th verses. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword and they shall die without knowledge. Right. May the God of Israel add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his word. Amen. I'd like to thank Trustee Kathy for coming forth from our subject this morning, this afternoon. Turn up to I'll turn the further personal service over to Trustee Ponde Harris. Thank you. Truly, I rise, giving honor to the Lord, the Father, King of all Israel. Thank God it was for my life. Thank God it was for you and your life. Thank God it was for the man of God in this generation, Bishop Bobby Davis, the King of all Israel. Thank God it was for the Queen of Israel. Thank God it was for Israel the world over. Thank God it was for Deacon Ronnie Oliver and Deacon Phil Hobbs running such a beautiful devotional service. I'd like to welcome you to our 2022 three-day meeting. Uh, so at this time, as Deacons cover the doors and the minister's altar, as we call forth our youth instructor. And our youth instructor is Brad Mother Delita Wiley. Here you are. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of Israel, to be the youth instructor. At this time, I want to first tell the youth this. I know you get tired of hearing, uh, stay in school, don't do drugs. But it's a reason for all that, because we want you to live the good life. And living the good life, first of all, is being obedience. Second is that respect. Have respect first for yourself, then respect for older people. If you see an older person, speak to them because that very person mm. can have you or be a cause that exactly. you can have that good life. We all talk about having, as a youth, you want the good life. Well, guess what? Be having a good life, you have to do certain things. You have to be aware of your surrounding. You have to go to school to get that good life. Ain't nobody gonna hand you nothing to get a good life. Be an entrepreneur. Go, when you go to school, find a trade. Everybody's not college or uh, need to go to college. So find you something 
that you could do, that you can have that good life. And I already remember that you are good young boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And the God of Israel love you, the kings love you, and I love you. And continue on so you can have that good life. This time I'm gonna call forth our instruction mother, um, Brad mother, Lynette Barnett, hear you her. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Thank you to God of Israel for my life, life of my sisters and brothers, both spiritually and naturally. To welcome you here to the Spiritualism Church in this Army Temple number one. Yes. A lot of work went into what you see here. Say it again. And I'm going to say to the members, let us respect the sanctuary as we respect each other. And to say if we have any visitors, we welcome you also here to the Spiritual Israel Church in this army. Let us love one another. Let us pray for one another. Let us get closer together and serve the God of Israel like we should. Um, you know, time is, time, time is running kind of crazy now, but the things that are going on in the world today, we were always warned about this. In this very temple, we were warned that That's there was right. going to be wars and rumors of wars. So I'm going to say to you tonight, keep the faith in the God of Israel. If you keep the faith, everything will be all right. And we come here to learn about the God of Israel, to build up faith in us. And the only way that that's going to happen is that if we give the speakers that come before us this afternoon or this evening our undivided attention. And I'm going to say to you, if you have a cell phone, please turn it off. Say it again. If you have children that have these little things that they playing with, turn the volume down or get some headphones for them or make them leave them at home. Okay, because the children need to pay attention to what's going on also. Because right. they need to learn the God of Israel for themselves too. So let us prepare ourselves to receive the, the sermons this evening by following me in a word of prayer. By saying, Our Father, Our Father which, art in heaven, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, be thy, name. Thy, kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy will be done in, earth, in earth as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give, us this day, Give us this day our daily bread. Our daily bread. Forgive, us our debts, Forgive us our debts and lead us not as, as we, we forgive our debtors. And lead us not, and lead us not into, temptation, into temptation, but deliver us, but deliver us from, evil. from evil. For thine is the kingdom, is the kingdom and the power, and the, power and, the glory and the glory forever. forever. Amen. Amen. This time we're going to ask everyone to stand as we greet the Queen of all Israel, Queen Elder Bride, Mother Vengeance Gloria Davis. Let's all stand, please. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Once again, Israel, we thank the Lord God of Israel for allowing us to arrive here safely as we travel out of the roads, the streets, the highways, whatever mode of transportation you had. We thank the Lord God of Israel for safe travel. We thank in him for the man of God in our generation, the King of Israel and our pastor, Bishop Davis. For you, you, and especially you, and remembering that there is no unimportant person in the spiritual Israel church and this army. So let us be attentive. Let us not allow our being here tonight be in vain. Let's not have to ask others what the speaker said when we were sitting here ourselves. So let's pay attention. Because sometimes when you get it secondhand, it don't be firsthand, it be secondhand. And we want this gospel to get in our minds and hearts firsthand, okay? because we realize just how much we need the God of Israel. We need the Lord God of Israel. We need one another. So children, let's be humble, submissive, obedient children, and let the God of Israel abide in you. Thank you. Thank you, my queen, for those beautiful remarks. Also very thankful for the words of my instruction mother, 
Grandmother Lynette Barnett, and our youth instructor, Grandmother Letha Booker. I mean, Grandmother Deletha Wiley. <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> I'd like to say uh, to the members of Michigan Temple Number no. One, thank you very much for all you've done, whatever you've done. And there's a sign out there as you come in that says, to Michigan Temple Number no. One members, we thank you. And we do thank you, whatever you did. If you even uh, gave a penny in the offering, we thank you for that. If you picked up a piece of paper off the floor, we thank you for that. And we all have played a part in what you see today. And we just wanna say thank you. Um, we'd like to say that uh, to the members of Michigan Temple Number no. One, we ask you to pay your pledges, which is men's $200, ladies $150. And, um, at this time, we're going to turn the first service into the hands of the Vice President of the United Deacons Council on Deacon Robert Davis. Here you are. All right, we're going to hold the Father, the King of all Israel. First of all, thank you, God, for my life. Thank you, sins, many out. We're always thanking for the King of all Israel, Bishop Bobby J. Davis, the Queen, Evangelist Bride, Mother Glory Davis. I'm always thanking for Israel the world over. So indeed, this is a, a, a wonderful night, and I had a big surprise when I walked through that door. It really, really looks great up in here. It really does. It sort of remind me when I, back in late 69, I first walked into this church. It was a beautiful auditorium. You know? And that's what it looks like tonight. And we're not here for long the time. As uh, the dean had already said, here's a let us do our job in this, all of us. Yeah, I, I didn't come out and do none of this work, but this is my church. So I need to help keep it clean, or keep the things you know, organized in this church. So we're not going to long time at this time. We're going to turn the first over, service over to the chairman of the United Dean Council the world over, Deacon Carlos Jennings. All right, let's give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Say it's a blessing to be at another service for the great mighty God of Israel. Truly, it's an honor as well as a privilege to be a member of the spiritual of church in this army. Glad to see our king come in. And to say, uh, I know the previous deacons had spoke about the work that was done on the building and how it's going to take us all to make sure that it stays clean. Now, let's keep in mind that everything that happens around here, it takes money. And that this used to be a week long. And now it's cut down to just three days, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. So I'm gonna say, please, if you can, put as much as you can into the offering, because it's still work yet to be done. Let's remember, this is also a fundraiser, not just to uplift our spirits, but it does take currency to do these things. So Israel, let's keep in mind, 
and let's put in as much as possible. And at this time, the further service be turned in our hands on Elder De Dennis Swelly. Let's give him a hand. Arise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, thanking and praising the great and mighty God of Israel, that he kept us all in the land of the living, allowed us another opportunity to return back here to the house of God, to the house of good. Good is God, and the God of Israel show sure has been good. Right. Good evening, Israel. Right. How you feeling? Don't know about you, but I'm glad to be here. Come on, put them hands together. As somebody said, welcome to the 2022 Michigan Temple Number no. One three day meeting. As also been said, we labored hard and long in this building. Some even slept all night in here to make sure the work get done. And we ask that you leave in this building nothing but love, joy, peace, and happiness, and don't forget some prosperity, all right? Truly God is good to all Israel, even to such as of a green heart, clean heart. How many of you glad to be here? Come on, let's make some noise. Have some wonderful speakers tonight. First in our program, we have the pastor of the Lansing Mission, our own Elder Ethelene Noonan. Right. But before she come, we're going to ask the choir to give us an A selection. Then I want you to sit back, relax, and listen to Elder Ethelene. Let's give the choir a hand. Lord, you know that I'm your child, and I'm doing the best that I can. Why my way gets so hard? Lord, I just don't understand. Oh, Lord, I need you to hold my hand right now, right now, right now. Oh, Lord, I need you to hold. I just can't make it by myself, yeah, Lord. I need you to hold my hand right now, right now, right now, oh, Lord. I need you to hold my hand. As I travel from place to place, many times I'm treated so bad. But when I sit down and think about it, I can't miss a friend that I never had. Oh, Lord, I need you to hold my hand right now, right now, right now. Oh, Lord, I need you to hold my hand. I just can't make it by myself. Yeah, Lord, I need you to hold my hand. Continue to run for Israel, even if I have to run alone, because it's my determination to make Israel my happy home. Oh Lord, I need you to hold my hand right now, right now, right now. Oh Lord, I need you to hold my hand. I just can't make it by myself. 
says, oh Lord, I need you to hold my hand right now, right now, right now, oh Lord, I need you to hold my hand. Yes, I want you to hold me always well. I need you to hold me, you don't hold me, I will surely fall. Hold me, 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 child and I'm doing the best that I can while my way gets so hard Lord I just don't understand oh Lord I need you to hold my hand right now right now right now oh Lord I need you to hold my hand I just can't make it by myself oh Lord So 
you're going to have to keep your feet and you're going to have to hear what thus said the Lord God. Because why? We don't want to do no evil. Let's read. Now therefore, now if you would obey my voice and deed and, and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure. Hey. You're going to be a peculiar treasure to who? Unto the God of Israel. It said, listen now, he's going to put you above all people. Because all the earth belongs to the God of Israel. So you're going to be a peculiar treasure. Now, my, that's the question come to me now. Why would I not serve the God of Israel? Why would I not be obedient to the God of Israel. Because I'm going to be a peculiar treasure. He said it's going to make me a peculiar treasure above all people on the face of the earth. All right, all right. Now that's the reason I'm going to serve the God of Israel. Let's read. If they obey, if they obey and, serve him, and serve him, they shall spend their days. You're going to spend your days in prosperity and your years. Now listen to me now. Why would you not serve the God of Israel? Now the question is, why would you not obey him? Now, you know something? When we talk about obeying the God of Israel, you know you're going to have to obey, obey somebody. The children obey their mother and father. When they get to the classroom, they obey the teacher. When they come to church, you have somebody that you're going to have to obey. That's why it's good to get a good relationship with the person that's in charge. Amen. I'm not talking about the God of Israel right now. You better get a good relationship with the person that's over you. Because you know something? That person is teaching you how to get in contact with the God of Israel. Let's read. And it shall come to pass what? If you are hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord God of Israel, you're going to do what? You're going to have to observe. You're going to have to do all his commandments that he commanded you. Hey, let's read. Listen. He's going to do what? He's going to do what? Don't you want to go there? He's going to set you on high. Listen, he said, above all the nations of the earth. And look, when he set you on half of all the nation, all these blessings are going to come up on you and I. And go on. Wait a minute now. Go overtake you now. If you hearken now, you know that's the key. If you hearken unto the voice of the great and mighty God. Go ahead. Of the Lord God. The Lord shall establish thee. He's going to establish you what? Now look, it come right back to the same thing. He said, a peculiar treasure, didn't he? Now you're going to be a holy people. Unto himself. Unto himself. He has sworn unto thee. If you will keep the commandment of the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God walk in his way. you're going to have to walk in his way. Amen. Now wait a minute. Now we got to stop right here because he said, walk in his way. Right. You know, you're going to have to be persistent. And I keep saying that because. You know, we have a trouble with being on time. That means that you have not put your foot forward to be persistent. That's all right. Amen. You somewhere, your passion is laid back over there. You got to be passionate about this thing. Because if you're passionate and you're persistent, you're going to get a reward. That means if you're trying your best to be on time, you're going to begin to be on time. If you're trying to attend your service, you're going to stop trying now. And you're going to start doing it. You won't have to say, I'm trying, Lord God of Israel. Don't you know what God is going to say to you? I'm tired of hearing you telling me I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. All right. You got to come up with a day you're going to stand up Amen. and say, I'm going to do the will of the great and mighty God of Israel. I'm going to obey those who have rule over me. I'm going to stop complaining and I'm start being persistent. Because you see, if you're persistent, you will get the reward. You see, you, you know that the saying that said, quitters never win. And winners never quit. Amen. If you're an Israelite, you're a winner. So you should never quit. 
Right. You hear me? Yeah. You should never quit, young people, because the God of Israel got your back. Right. Let's read. And all people of the earth. And all people of the earth. Shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord. Oh, they're gonna see, you see. They're gonna see. You know, they used to tell me that uh Bishop Oliver say over there at number at the number two where he was. Let me tell you, they said, Bishop Oliver, a storm coming. He would go out there and start working. And the people in the newspaper write about it. So what that old man doing out there? You know something? We haven't been in the newspaper too much help. You got to be persistent, Israel. You got to be persistent with what you do for the God of Israel. Amen. You know, one person can't do it all. But collectively, if we join hand and join one mind and be persistent, we can move mountains. We can say to the mountain, be thou removed. Be thou cast into the sea. And then, you know what it said? If we don't have no doubt, you got to get that out of your vocabulary, Israel. I got to get it out of mine first. And I hope you join me. Let's read. And they shall be afraid of thee. And who I'm looking for that day that they're afraid of me. You see what I'm saying? Because we're going to be doing great things in the great and mighty God of Israel world. Let's read. And it shall return unto the Lord thy God. And it shall return unto the Lord thy God. And shall obey his voice. And you will obey his voice. According to all that I command. According to all what? I command you this I command you this day. Thou. Thou. And thy children. And your children. With all thy heart. And with all thy heart. With all thy soul. And with all thy soul. And thou shalt return. You shall return. And you're going to obey the voice of the Lord thy God. And do all his commandments. And do all his commandments. All right. And I, I'm going to stop right there so I hope you gain your thought. Oh, come on, y'all. Let's give Elder Ethelene another hand. Thanking the God of Israel for the message and the messenger. Tell her to preach on to the great and mighty God of Israel. Next on program, my sister, All right. whom I watch come up through hard trials and tribulations, but she's still here. Thanking the God of Israel went out and done something that hasn't been done in a long time. Started a mission for the great and mighty God of Israel come from a long line of preachers. She don't need no introduction. Yeah, yeah. I think she won't tell the Houston. That gospel preacher from back under Elder Foster. To come on up and sing for her. Let's give Elder Houston Brown a hand. We're going to say a couple of verses. We want Monroe to come up and help us. Y'all can help us too if you want to. All right. I'm going to All right. We, we just was hitting, working with this here, but for y'all be patient with us. Y'all, Lord, I'm in your care. <clears throat> Whoa. Father, I'm in your care. Lord, I'm in your care. Oh, 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 I'm in your care. Father, I'm in your care. Lord, I'm in your care. Oh, 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 o
Father, I'm in your care today. Give on to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Because, right. yeah. Lord, I'm in your care. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, sir. I'm in your care. Yes. Did anybody else feel like yes. that you've been in his care? Yes. Yeah, I feel all right. Yeah. Thank the God of Israel. Well, just my life and being right here, right now, at this time. Thank you to God and for the man in this generation, I own Bishop Bobby Joe Davis and his lovely wife sticking right by his side. And I'm thankful for the Monroe Mission, those who have stood and tested time and stood. I'm thankful for you, my sisters and my brothers, all of you. All of you that have said a prayer for me, <clears throat> prayed for me, I'm even thankful for the haters. <laughs> and sometimes they make you push on sometimes, huh? I'm just thankful. We talking about obey the God of Israel. I was a person when I grew up, I ain't like no whoopings. I don't know about y'all. I ain't like no whoopings. And those who was disobedient? Watch out now, watch out. CPS would have been all over us right, back in the day. CPU, whatever it is, Child Protective Service. They'd have been all over us when they caught that damn whooping you in that daytime. And today, we get whoopings, but none like that. But we got something put on our mind and heart that we catching it. <laughs> Might not seem like it's whoops on, all on your skin, but it's whoops all on your heart yeah. and everything else. Oh, huh? Why? Disobedient. <laughs> huh? It's always got us in trouble. I'm going to move on. We don't have much time. I'm just here to praise the God of Israel and give him thanks for what he already done for me. 
I want to thank him for all his many blessings that he had bestowed on me. St. John 7:38 says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow. And I like peace. I like joy, health, happiness. And you know the last scripture was talking about, please add a little prosperity for which we have need of. Huh? And I like being happy, so I like a little pleasure too. Huh? So the God of Israel being good to us. Huh? Because you ought to live a life. You ought to be happy sometime of the day. If heaven is here on, in us, you ought to be happy. Huh? Shouldn't be mean and hateful all the time. Read on. It says today, if you hear my voice, huh? what did it say? Hard not what? Hard not your heart. Many times, what's wrong? We can't what? Hear the God of Israel. I'm sorry about that, guys. That's Hebrews 3 15, 1 Chronicles 7 14. I'm going to move right along. It says, If my people, which what? He's talking to us, huh? He's talking to the Israelites, huh? Because we the one who had the plan. We the one who was chosen to do a certain thing. And we weren't following through with the plan that God had chose us to do. If my people, which are called by my name, I got to humble myself and pray. I got to seek my face. And I got to work. Turn. You know why I can't turn sometimes? When he got to Moses, I know I'm gonna skip through the scriptures real fast though. When he got to Moses, when he got done, he told him, he says, he says in Exodus 32, 9, he says, the Lord told Moses, I seen them. I seen their faces. They are people that are, those people are stiff-necked and hard-headed, huh? Stiff-necked, huh? I seen them, huh? And Moses said, you seen them already? <laughs> you know, yeah, I seen them. They stiff-necked and hard-headed. Anything stiff-necked is hard to turn. Huh? It's hard to turn. And the Lord God of Israel said, now what do you want to do? You want to continue to be stiff-necked? Or do you want to follow the God of Israel? Huh? Do you want to be obedient to him? Huh? Because Jeremiah 5, 25, it says, uh-huh, uh-huh, turn from your what? Your what? Some people think they don't have no evil ways, huh? Some people think I'm all right. Nothing wrong with me. What happened? Uh-huh. And dwell in the land. See, the God of Israel don't have any good thing that he want to keep from us. The only thing that's keeping good from us is our evil. And our sin is withholding good things from us, huh? But Job had to feel like, something wrong with this picture, huh? I'm a perfect and I'm an upright man. And the God of Israel, you seem like you done forsaken me, huh? Oh, he had some thoughts, he had some thoughts. He said, it seemed like you done forsaken me. But he didn't never give up his faith, though, huh? He never said nothing like, cuss God. Some of us, we get mad, we through with you. We done with you, huh? Through my trials and tribulations, I got to keep on going for the God of Israel. Through my trials and tribulations, I never want to give up on the God of Israel, huh? Because he don't give up on me, huh? So I got to keep the faith, huh? You got to keep the faith. You going to go through something. I'm going to hold on. Huh? I ain't going to give up. Times look a little tight sometimes. Huh? Look a little bad sometimes, Lord God of Israel. Huh? I know I ain't done that much wrong, but Lord God of Israel, hold on to me. Don't give me up. Don't let everybody even see me. Go through all of these jokes and all that. We just had me sometimes. Sometimes you don't need everybody looking at you sometimes. Why? Because your friends will come along and tell you, your wife will come along and tell you, you ought to just cuss God and die. Huh? You ought to just give up, but I can't give up. You got to be obedient to the God of Israel. Psalm 73, 1 said, truly God, 
He's what? Good. He's good to Israel. Yes, Even to set your ass. I got to clean up my heart. Yeah. Psalm 51, 10 said, a clean heart. God of Israel, you got to help me now. Create me a clean heart. Oh, God. And renew a right spirit. What? Within me. Because this spirit I got. I can't humble myself. I think I know everything. <laughs> I, I, I got the answer and don't have nothing. <laughs> Why would I be obedient to the God of Israel? Why do you be obedient to your boss at the job? Huh? Why? You want that money, don't you? You want that check, don't you? Huh? You don't want to be fired, don't you? You know he got the money in his hand, huh? All, right. all power's in God's hand. He's the creator of all. He made me. So I should be obedient unto the creator, huh? Amen. Let's move on. And then as I look around, I have to pray. I don't know about y'all. Because sometimes some of this, you got to increase your faith. Because you say, when I'm saying, how can I, how can I be? So right, and I'm born in sin, in iniquity, David said. You know, I was in iniquity, born in sin. But I got to be born again. Huh? I got to be born again. I got to get a new way of thinking this over now. Huh? Because if we don't think again, then ourselves will take us down the wrong path of destruction. And I have to pray. And I said to that prayer, I said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like unto thee. Thy name is great, it shall, and it must be honored. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. It ain't no doubt about it. There is no God. Are you going to praise this God of Israel or you're not? Today, make a choice. Or what you going to do? Huh? What you going to do? Make a choice. Huh? Make a choice what you getting ready to do. Get ready to pay. Which way you going? There's no God like in the deep. Thy name is great. Help us. What it say? Help us to so die from this world. And that's what got me that I can't be obedient. Because I always think of what I want to think. Help us to so die from this world and myself that thy kingdom can freely come to us. Help us to so be dead. I was always thinking when Aaron was making that golden calf, they was thinking about what the world wants sometimes, huh? From this world and ourselves. That what? Stop acting like you doing something and you don't want to do it. We are good pretenders and we good actors. Good actors. And a lot of us is acting like we obedient. As soon as somebody turn their head, you doing what you want to do. It's like when the mama leaves the children at home, you'll tell if they're obedient or not. The house and everything right well. If it ain't party time. Huh? So we're going to ask the God of Israel to help us to die from ourselves in this world that we can be able to hear the God of Israel talk and do it and be obedient. And I thank you. Let's give Elder Janie, the pastor of Monroe, another hand. Amen. Now we're going back out to the Holy Land. Young man also come from a long line of good preachers. His father was Elder Joe Sr. We're going to ask you to sit back and listen to the pastor of the Sumpter Church, Elder Joe Jordan Jr. But before he come, let's hear from the choir. Then the next voice will be Elder Joe Jordan.
rise, <laughs> giving honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to let you know that I love to praise his holy name. He's my rock, my sword, and my shield. We have an awesome God here. Huh? Oh, no. Don't bother me now. Thank you, God of Israel, for being here this, this afternoon. Thank you for the man of God in this generation. I own Bishop Bobby Joe Davis and the Queen. I own Elder Brian Mother Gloria Davis. Uh, thankful for the, the ministers that have spoke before me, and uh, thankful for Sumter. They say we only have 10 minutes here, so I'm going to be on autopilot. Uh, we thank the God of Israel for his, his word and his power. Uh, the theme, Obey the God of Israel. Uh, we look at, we read the subject and we look at the thing and they're kind of contrary one to the other. Obey is just to obey. But in the subject it says if. If is conditional. We, we want to serve the God of Israel non-conditional. Give me St. John 7, 38. Uh, give me uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 8. Uh, Romans 7, 21, 2, 3, the subject, and we're going to end up with uh, Psalms 27, 3. Um, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. We have been taught uh, what God is. This is one thing that Israel will teach an individual is what God is and where, and where God is. Uh, all our life we have been he reading these scriptures and hearing the scriptures, but are we getting the results from what we're hearing? We have been, we, we have been told in many years to hear all Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. What is it that we are obeying? I find it sometimes controversy right in my own house what I am obeying. Come on, read the scripture. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Sometimes we wonder where God is. How do we get in the situation that we're in? Give me Romans, that's what I wanted. How do we get ourselves in the position that we are in? If we are following God, if we obey God, sometimes I wonder, do we know who God is? Do we know where God is? What the scripture say? I found what? I found them a law that when I, when I would do good, evil is always present with me. Come on. I delight in the law of what? Of God. After the inward man in my members. Now I'm trying to figure out what to obey. But when I got members right in my own house, right in, right in me, whom do I choose to obey? Whom do I choose to follow? Well, there's a war going on right in our own house. What they say? Warning against the law of my mind. Because without my mind, the God of Israel would do nothing. It's important that I present my mind to the God of Israel in order for me to obey the God of Israel. What it say? Bringing me into captivity. The law of sin, which is in my members. Oh, wretched man that I am. Who shall deliver me from the body of this death? We, what, what is our focus when we come to obey the God of Israel? God is a spirit. We got to know that the spirit is walking and talking right in us. One of the first uh, principles in, in the spirituals of church in his army is easy folk on four six. There's one God who's above all, who is through all, who is in us all, 
We need to learn how to get God activated in our own flesh, in our own mind. So when the war is going on in you, you can shut it down. You can have the power and the strength to know God when he talks. That's why it's troubling me. When I see things that God, how come I missed that? How come I didn't hear that? And yet I want to obey God. I want to obey the spirit. How do we miss the spirit when it's supposed to be right in us? Come on, what it say? If they obey and serve him, when you obey him, who are you obeying? Who are you serving? We say the God of Israel, but what is the God of Israel to you? We say, surely the Lord God will do nothing. But he revealed his secrets. I told his servant the prophet. We talk about these scriptures, knowing that the Lord, he is what? We got to know that God is walking and talking in our day. We got to know that God is walking and talking where you'll get an understanding right now. You got to learn that, that God is, he said, as he has spoke by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. You, we're walking around, we've been told where God is and we're still looking for him. Come on, what it say? They should spend their days in prosperity. In their years in pleasure. But if they obey not. When I heard this, I felt pretty good about it. I looked at my life. I ain't lived too bad of my life. So God has led me somewhat in the right direction. I ain't been too broke. I got a few dollars. Prosperity ain't been an issue. I've been a few places. He has protected me overseas and back. You, you, you know, but there's still a, a greater life to live. There's something greater that I'm reaching for. Come on, give me Psalms 23, 27, 3. It, even though, though a host, don't worry about a host being out there. We have to know that the host is in here. Don't look for the enemy on the outside. Look for the enemy on the inside. When you can you can live free. You can obey God. Because you can get hooked up with the anointed spirit of the most high God. What it say? My heart shall not fear. I fear not, Israel. We serve an awesome God. I open his hands, fear not, for thou are with me. You got to know that the God of Israel is with you. What it say? No war. no war shall rise against me. And let's not, let's, 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 let's challenge that. What is war? Conflict. No conflict shall go on in your house. Because God will shut it down. Because you are obeying the spirit of the most high God. Come on, what it say? In this. Would I be confident? You got to be confident. God don't need no scared soldier. You sometimes got to, you got to stand up and stick your chest out and fight like it ain't no nothing else. God needs some fighters, not some cowards. You got to stand up for the God of Israel. Be brave, be bold. Come on, what it say? One thing that I desire of the Lord. I don't know what you desire, but I'm seeking after the greater things in life. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Not some of the days, all the days of my life. Am I in the right church? It is our desire to live in these houses. Even though they, they leave it here, hurry, okay, come on down to the the beauty of the Lord is to cry in this temple for the time of trouble. He shall hide in his pavilion and the secret of his tabernacle. He hide me. That's where I want to be.
He will set me upon a rock. I don't know about you, but my past father taught me he was standing on the rock that would never fade away. Do you know what I'm talking about? Are you standing on that rock today? Are you standing on a sure foundation? Is, is I have anybody here that's willing to stand on that rock? I'm standing on that rock that would never fade away. May the God of us be Let's give Elder Joe Jordan another hand. We're thanking the God of Israel for the message and the messenger, and this is just the first night. Make sure you come back tomorrow and Sunday, all right? Right now, I'm going to turn this part of the service over to the hands of the assistant pastor here at Temple Number 1, Elder Hawthorne Smith. Let's hear him. Right. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. So we thank the God who's allowing me to be out here tonight. And also thank the God who's allowing you to be out here tonight. Thank the God who's for everybody that came out to be with us to have a wonderful, wonderful time. And truly thank all those who created this building and all those who are with us. And I'm not going to pull out the time. With, we go next person we're going to have on the program. will be our own, Edward, Bishop Edward Lee Mack. And we're going to have a choir to come back and give us this lecture. And then the further service is going to be in his hand. And we're going to eat and drink some more words of the great and mighty God of Israel.
Truly. I rise giving honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to present my body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the God of Israel, which is my reasonable service. Being thankful for the man of God in this generation, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis and the king, Queen of all Israel, been thankful for the marriage of the overseer and his wife, Bishop Beavers, the system overseer and his wife, right. and also being thankful for my wife. Right. I'm thankful for the spiritual Israel church and his army, the world over, every member, name by name. Hopefully we're still seeking for more wisdom, more knowledge, and a better understanding how to suit and serve a true and a living God. I'm being thankful for the portion of Temple Number 8 that's here tonight. I'm also being thankful for the wonderful sermons that I've heard tonight. And I can't better nothing been said. Truth is just truth. One thing I don't find out about truth, it'll stand wherever it's at. Sometimes I see people lying, they be done forgot to lie, they done told it. They tell it in a different way. But when you tell the truth, you don't have to worry about messing truth up. It'll stand for itself. And I'm so thankful just to be here and thankful to have this few minutes, this opportunity. Right. Amen. Right. I want you to get in the sink down 7, 30, 7 and 38 verse. Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter. I want you to start at the first verse and go down to the sixth. Then I want you to drop down to the 24th and 25th verse. Then give me your subject, which is Job, the 36th chapter, 11 and 12th verse. James, the 4th chapter, 7 and 8th verse. Then give me 2 Corinthians, the 6th chapter, 16, 17, and 18 verse. I won't get all these scriptures, but you write them down and take them home with you. All right. <laughs> Romans, the 13th chapter. Start at the first verse and go down to the third. Then give me Romans the twelfth chapter. First and second verse. Come on, come on. Ezekiel 18, 30, 31, and 32. Yes, sir. Second Chronicles 17th chapter, 20th, down to the 24th verse. All right. All right. Joy 227. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 31, 1, and Romans eleven twenty-six. It's good just to be here yeah. in the land of the living. And St. John 7, 38 said what? 7, 7 38. 37. This is what they said Jesus said back there in that day and time. But I'm saying the same thing he said up here in this day and time. In the last day, that great day of the feast. Bishop Mack is standing here today crying, saying, Let him come unto me and drink. He that, and that means she too, he that believes on me. Ah, similar to how the scripture have said, out of your belly. Shall meaning sure enough, it's going to materialize. Shall flow rivers of living water. Nothing dead. Huh? This living water is going to give you life. What is this living water? The word of the true and the living God. Huh? Come on. Now these are the commandments. The statutes. And the judgment. Which the Lord, our God, commanded us to teach you that he might do them. What about? No, we're not dying and go to heaven. Now we got to do this in the land so we can stay in the land. Come on. Where you go to possess it? The God may fear the Lord. We fear dogs. We fear cats. Some people do. We fear human beings sometimes ourselves. Huh? But do we ever fear God? That's the word we should fear. Because if we fear God and keep God's commandments, all them things that you fear will not affect you. Because God got you. Come on. To keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee, thou 
and thy son, and thy son, son, here to keep the whole family. Come on. All the days of thy life. That thy days may be belong. Hear therefore his will. And observe to do it. That it may be. I don't even want to use that part of it. That it will be. Well with thee. That ye may increase mightily. As the Lord thy God. As the Lord God of what? Thy Father. Has promised thee. God already done promised all these good things. All we got to do is keep his commandment and we can receive them. Come on. Hear Israel. Israel. The Lord thy God is one Lord. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy might. These words, which I command you this day, shall be in the sky. No, they're down here with you. They're on the inside of you. All you got to do is put them to work. Amen. Come on. Amen. As he commanded us Amen. to do all these statutes, Amen. to fear the Lord our God. Amen. For what? Our good, our good always. That he, might that he might preserve us alive. As it is at this day. He what? And it should be our righteousness. If we do all these commandments before the Lord, our God, as He has commanded us, huh? We can have whatever it is we want in righteousness, huh? Come on. If thou obey and serve Him. They shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. You can have pleasure keeping the God of the commandment. You ain't always got to be out there boogalooing and all that old kind of stuff. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I look at it like it's exercise. But don't you know you can enjoy yourself in the God of Israel and have better health? Come on. But if thou just butt your butt right on out the way, then. But if thou obey not, they shall perish by the sword. They shall perish by the sword. And they shall die without knowledge. And they shall die without knowledge. Ain't that all right? Come on. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. That's what we got to learn to do, y'all. Resist the devil. I ain't talking about it to nobody else. I'm talking about it in yourself. You want to look at your finger and look at everybody else. Look, take a look on the inside. Michael Jackson said, take a look in the mirror. Come on. And he will flee from you. Draw down to God. And he will draw down to you. Cleanse your hands. You sinners. And purify your heart. You devil minded. Come on to the next one. And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For, for ye are the temple of the living God. That doesn't matter. You may have act unseemly. You still the temple of the living God. That's why God wants you to get it together. So this temple can look right before other people. Come on. As God has said, I will dwell in them. I walk in them. I be, be your God, and they shall be my people. We belong to the God of Israel. We are His people. Let us start acting like it. Come on. Wherefore? Come out from among. I ain't talking about them deals. I'm talking about them old deals in here. Cause I can run from you, but I can't run from here. Come on. And be separated. Said the Lord, and touch not the unclean things. And if you don't touch them, I will receive you. And I will be your father unto you. And you shall be my son and daughter. Said the Lord Almighty. Come on. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. 
They had no power but of God. And the power that be ordained of God. And who's around it therefore? Resist the power. Resist the orders of God. And they that resist shall receive it themselves. Damnation. For rules are not a terror to good work, but to the evil. Without them not be afraid of the power. Do that which is good. And that shall have praise of the same. May God bless you. I was trying my best to get on out the way, y'all. <laughs> We're going to have a selection from the choir, and the next voice you hear will be Bishop Edwards. All right? Come on, choir. Lord, I haven't always been so good.
rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, thanking and praising the God of my life, thanking him for your lives, thanking him for the lives of our brothers and sisters, the spiritual Israel church in this army the world over. Thanking him for being a good God, for being a merciful God, for being a forgiving God, for being a loving God, and most of all, for being a right here and a right now God. Not a God way off beyond the sun and the moon and the stars that we're hoping someday somehow to meet, but rather a God that walks and talks in you and I. Thanking him for keeping his arms of love and protection wrapped around each and every one of us, allowing us to return to this place one more time, still giving us the opportunity to come up to be what he would have us to be. To say, truly, Israel, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad therein. Still being thankful for the man of God in this generation, the king of all Israel, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, his administration and leadership, and all those that love and support him. Thankful for the church that I passed at the Mount Clemens Temple and the members of the Mount Clemens Temple. Thankful to be here at the three-day meeting at Temple Number One. Thankful for all the members of the Spiritual Israel Church Army. Thankful for Israel the world over. Just thankful, thankful, thankful. I, I, I truly enjoyed my preach, brothers. Let's give them another cheer. I'm kind of full. It is so beautiful in here. Thank you, Israel. I, I started out at number one. And, and when it was in its bad condition, it hurt my heart. And I didn't know what, what we were going to do, but I heard the man. And he said he was going to get it back to the way we wanted it to be. I'm looking, but I heard the man. <laughs> but I'm looking, and now I see what the man said has come to be. We thank you, the God of Israel, where the words of the king out there is power. And, and we thank for all the members of number one and other members of Israel that work to put this back to where it is. Because look at what we can do when we put our mind to it. Look at what we can do when we are obedient to the God of Israel. Look at what we can do when we realize we can't go off into ourselves, our thoughts and our ways, but we have to obey the man that God sent to lead God and protect his people Israel. Let me give you a few scriptures. Um, I'm, I'm feeling good, but we do it this way. St. John 7, 38. Then I think I want Mark 12, 29, 30, and 31. Then I want to go get, I think, um, I think I want Ezekiel 18, 31, and 32. Then I want 2 Chronicles 15, 3, and 4. Then I want Ezekiel 33, 7. Then I want um, 1 Samuel 9, 6. And then I think I want Acts 3, 23, and 24. And then if I still got time, we'll get Isaiah 43, uh, 1 through 7, and then get Isaiah 45, 2, read down. Um, obey the God of Israel. That's a word. When you hear somebody say, obey, at least me, it kind of make me angry. It kind of make me upset. I don't want to obey you. I want to obey me. But obey the God of Israel is something to celebrate. I am so thankful that I have a God to obey. I found out. <laughs> I didn't know as much as I thought I know. I found out I wasn't as smart as I thought I was. I found out I couldn't handle situations as well as I thought I could handle situations. I found out I needed help, and I'm so glad that the God of Israel sent me some help. The beautiful thing about this obey, see, Obey man, he wants you to obey him for his benefit. He wants you to please him. He wants you to serve him. That's how it is on your job. They want you to obey so they can get rich. <laughs> That's right. Come on now. Yep, that's it. 
but God's portion is his people. And he gave us obey not to make him greater. He gave us obey to make us greater. We obey the God of Israel because he said he would make the crooked places straight. We obey the God of Israel because he said he would make our enemy our footstool. We obey the God of Israel because he said he would drive the world to confusion and he would elevate Israel above all the people of the world. That's why we obey the God of Israel. And then I'm so glad I came someplace where I got taught. I'm not chasing ghosts. I'm not chasing imagination. And they gave me something, told you, if I would have followed your, my first mind. And they said that was the God of Israel. And it was. But you know, sometimes something told me to do something I didn't have no business doing. And I don't know if it was my first mind, my second mind, my third mind, or my last mind, but sometimes what I had in my mind was not righteousness. It wasn't good for me, and it wasn't good for anybody else. I'm glad that I came someplace where they told me I had to be taught how to suit and serve a true and a living God. I'm glad I came someplace where they took, look, in that day, those people had to obey Moses. In another day, those people had to obey Jesus. In another day, those people had to obey Paul. And we can even come up even closer. In one day, those people had to obey Bishop Dixon. Those people had to obey Bishop Tonkin. Some of them still here, but I wasn't back in that day. I came along in Haywood's day. I came through Bishop Wally's day. But in this day, we have to obey the one man that God sent to rule his people Israel, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, the king of all Israel. One God, Father of all, above all, through all, and in you all. God is not a man, never has been a man, never will be a man. He made man. But he gave us a man to teach us how to please him. Let me get these scriptures and get out your way. St. John 7, 38 says, He, he that believeth on me, don't let your coming be in vain. Don't let it be for form and fashion. You get you something while you in here today. You know you got problems you want to be solved. You know you got pain you want to be delivered from. You know you got situations you want to master. You get you something today that's going to help you in your life. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, is you can let it fall to the ground or you can let it fall on soil, fertile soil, in your heart and your mind. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers, rivers. Shoot, I like prosperity too. I like health. I like happiness. I like peace. I like nice clothes. I like a nice place to live. I like a nice car to drive. I like to be around people that love me and treat me right. Rivers of living water. And Jesus said to them, this was Jesus. The first of all commandments is, hear Israel. Because we have to be taught a guy. And I was a child when mom said, here, you better hear me. That meant it was about to get serious. I think that's what Jesus was letting them know. It's about to get serious. If you ain't never heard before, you better hear now. Hear, O Israel. And it's so important to recognize he didn't say everybody and he didn't say anybody. He said, hear, O Israel. The Lord, everybody's God, their God. Here, O Israel, the Lord, our God, is just one. We got to get dedicated. We got to get committed. 
We got to get devoted. We got to get to a point where we don't let nothing separate us from suiting and serving a true and a living God. And if you're serving God, you're going to be doing something for somebody. I love the God of Israel, but I can't stand this church. You ain't got it right. I love the God of Israel, but I can't stand this one and that one in the church. You ain't got it right. How can you love God whom you cannot see and hate your brother who you see every day? And as you work to learn to love your brother, your love of the God of Israel will increase. Here is the Lord I got is one Lord. You shall love the Lord thy God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and with all our strength. An excuse is not a solution. It just put off the negative consequences. But it does not bring forth the blessing. And when you love something with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength, excuses just don't get it. You got to do what needs to be done. This is the first commandment. The second is, like namely this, love thy neighbor as thyself. And I say that means you got to show love to the people that you come in contact with every day. And if you can't love the people you come in contact with every day, you need to increase your love of the God of Israel. There's none other commandment greater than these. Get the next one. Let's move. Cast away from you all your transgression. Stop trying to fix everybody else. You unhappy because you need to be fixed. You got aches and pains because you need to be fixed. If I'm unhappy, if I got aches and pains, that's because I need to be fixed. Stop trying to fix everybody else. Cast away from you all your transgressions. Whereby the things that's causing you problems in your life. Whereby you have transgressed a new heart and a new spirit. Don't you want to live? A roach you want to live. You know you want to live. And we can live. But we got to get this heart and this mind cleaned up. Oh, why will you die, house of Israel? I have no pleasure. And I'm so glad they taught that in here because they had me thinking God wanted you to die. God called them home because he loved them best. No, God has no pleasure in the death of them that die, saith the Lord God. Wherefore, put down that wrong, pick up right so you can live. Let's get on out of here. Go ahead. Now for a long season, Israel has been out without a true God. All that stuff we let go on us sometimes. Criticizing, complaining, worrying without a true God and without a teaching priest and without law. But when we got in trouble, when it got rough enough, when we got sick enough, when we got desperate enough, we was looking for somebody to help us. I need some help, Lord God of Israel. In a time of trouble, I put my mess down and I picked up his burden. Turned to the God of Israel and sought him and I found him right here in the city of Detroit. Read. Thou son of man. He didn't elevate himself. He, the God of Israel raised him up from among them. He didn't put this plan into action. The God of Israel put this plan into action. Thou son of man, I set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, he ain't supposed to tell us how he feel, his opinion. He's supposed to tell us what thus said the Lord God of Israel. And I do believe the God of Israel know how to regulate who he want to regulate. Have faith in God so you can have faith in a man. Read. Start to read that one more time. I set the watchman. I set the watchman. When I was a little child, my mama called it a babysitter. But it was the same idea. Somebody to look out for me. I set the watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth. He's going to make it plain to Bishop Bobby, and Bishop Bobby make it plain to us. Get the next one. And he said unto him, Behold, way back then, that was their testimony. Right up here today, this is our testimony. 
there is in this city. You ain't got to go over the ocean to Jerusalem. There is in this city a man of God. He is an honorable man. I done tried him. I done went through him with a problem. I done asked for a healing. I done asked for protection. And all that he said, it comes surely to pass. So let us go thither, preemptive, so he can show us our way. That we should go. I'm so glad to be able to come to this man so that I can find out what's wrong with me. So I can get me right so I can live. Read. And it should come to pass that every soul. You know when the solution is put right where you can get to it and you turn your back on it? Don't blame God. That was your choice. Read. Start over. One more time. It shall come to pass that not some of them Seems like I should be afraid. <laughs> Every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed. You do it, you 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 lose your life. Me? Yay? And all the prophets from Samuel. And all the prophets from Samuel. Those that follow after. Uh-huh. As many as have spoken. Uh-huh. Amen. It was true back then. It was true in Dixon's day. It was true in Tompkins' day. It was true in Hayward's day. It was true in Wiley's day. And right up here today in Davis's day, it's still the same way. Read. Now that said the Lord, they created the old Jacob. And he that formed the old Israel. This is why I want to obey the God of Israel. Because he said, fear not. I have redeemed thee. I called thee by thy name. The God of Israel claimed me before I even knew I needed to claim him. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. Through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. That's all right. Get Isaiah 45 too, and I'm done. I'll go before thee. I'll make the crooked places straight. I'll break in pieces the gates of brass. I'll cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I'll give thee. This will happen when we be a, obey the God of Israel. He will give us the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. That's enough. May the God of Israel keep you and bless you. I hope you gain a thought. Let's give ourselves a cheer. Truly, we're in the midst of a good time. This is just the first of three days. Come out, come on back and make sure you get your portion. At this time, we're going to go back to this amazing choir for a selection, and then I will have you to receive the assistant overseer of the Spiritual Israel Church in Army, Bishop Harvey Beavers, the choir. I thank you, Israel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, my brother. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Oops, excuse me. It's good to see you, Bishop. It's good to see you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 No, no. <laughs>
that taught me, the late Bishop Allen Cox. And I'm so thankful for the man of God that's teaching me now, the King of Israel, Bishop Bobby J. I'm thankful for his wife, the Queen of Israel. Elder, bride, mother, Gloria David. Amen. Walking before God's people in righteousness is a sacrifice. Amen. And I'm so, so thankful for them. I'm truly thankful for the emeritus overseer, Bishop Tilman Oliver. A man that let me know a long time ago that my intellect and my research wasn't going to get this. But I was going to have to sit down at the foot of somebody that had the spirit of a living God. I'm so thankful. And thankful for his wife, Reverend Pam Allen Oliver. And I'm very thankful to be out here with my wife. Very, very thankful for her. And if you got somebody that's looking out for you, got your best interest at heart, you be thankful for them. Because right. people ain't got to do nothing. Right. Israel, don't it look beautiful in here? Yeah. Let's give the King of Israel and all of Temple Number One members a round of applause. I said, the train cars is lining up, Israel. Don't you get left. We on our way straight to the top. And you ought to want to be right there with us. Amen? Amen. I want to ask, is there, any, is there any guests, any visitors anywhere, that you are not a member of the spiritual church in this army? I know some of you, even though you haven't gave your hand, you've already given your heart. And we're so thankful for you. Amen. Beautiful. This family here. Amen. I'm not going to prolong the time. I want to be thankful for all of the speakers Amen. that spoke. Didn't they do a wonderful job? Let's give them a round of applause. I want to also say I'm very thankful for every member of the spiritual Israel church in this time, name by name. But I'm truly thankful for those that the king is still allowing me to be pastor to, the members of the Ypsilanti Temple. I'm very, very thankful for you. 
I'm not going to prolong the time. I don't know why this thing. Our emeritus overseer, Bishop Tillman Olive, has asked that his wife come forward and sing a song for him. And after which, we're going to greet the emeritus overseer of the spiritual Israel Church in this army, Bishop Tillman Oliver. Let's receive Reverend Pan. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all this world, being thankful to be in the land of the living, yeah. and being thankful for this beautiful building yeah. that the people of the God of Israel had cleaned it up. It looked like a brand new church. Yeah. It's so beautiful in here. Yeah. Thank you, God, is for the King and his wife, Mother Gloria. And thank God, is for each and everybody to be in the land of the living. He sweet I know He he so sweet I do know Storm clouds may rise Stormy winds, they may blow.
All right. Bishop Tillman Oliver, receive him. All right. To give honor to the Holy Father, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis. Let you and I, Holy Father, I didn't hear anybody say yes, but me. <laughs> That's the only Holy Father that you have. In this generation, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, name should be ringing at the old neighbor's door. Unless you are afraid to speak the name of Israel. I know some of you are. I know some of you have the speaker the preacher that's your pastor and your mother and father. I get joy out of speaking his name. He doesn't let me fail whenever I call his name. I was in a hospital for a week. St. Mary's. That's a Catholic hospital. And those that go there, they are Catholics. I had them to put the spiritual Israel church in its army on their baseboard. And they can see what I believed in. And I will tell the world, he's sweet, I know. King, the, the, the one that was king before he was. Bishop Wiley. When my mind is right, I can call the kings that I knew. I'll tell you that it isn't always right. My mind, my mind plays tricks on me. Everybody else is 
do too. You wouldn't agree with me when I first said it. I know. I've been in Israel since 37, 1937. I came on the January Sunday. And I heard Reverend Johnson preach. And I said, I come to this church. They believe in the God that was in them. You see, you got to believe something. Why don't you believe the God that is within you? Amen. Amen. Now, I have said enough tonight to last me a lifetime if I believed it. You said enough tonight here to last you a lifetime if you believed it. She sung a song. He's sweet, I know. And I know he is. I believe in him and all the rest of them that have heard the word that he spoke. I know that God is in him. You know that God is in you because you're living. God wouldn't be in you if you were not living. He would be gone out. And then some other person that will let him have freedom in them. Now my wife, she sung, I'm not going to try to sing. If you, I do, you get up and walk out. <laughs> I know you. I was here when you came in. I've been in Israel 80 some years. And I have unheard and my recollection and anybody that could dispute Israel. I think I've said enough to you to last me until in the morning. (laughs) 
I visited it. Spiritually, the one that comes in my mind, you visit the one that comes in your mind, but you won't acknowledge it. I visit spiritually. I know you. You know me. All right. All right. With that, I've said enough. Right. And I'm going to bring the king up. All right. And I have the choir. The same for him. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I need this one to stumble. God got a blessing just waiting for you if you do all the things he told you to be honest be faithful kind hearted and true God got a blessing just waiting for you, God got a blessing. Waiting for you. If you do all the things He told you to, you got to be honest, be faithful, kind hearted, and true. God got a blessing waiting for you. God got a blessing waiting for you. If you do all the things He told you to, you got to be honest. Be faithful, be faithful and true. God got a blessing waiting for you. God got a blessing waiting for you. If you do all the things. He told you to do. You got to be honest, be faithful, be honest. Be God got a blessing. God got a blessing. God got a blessing. God got a blessing. A blessing. Obey your pastor. Obey the king of Israel. Obey the king. Obey the king of Israel. God got a blessing. God got a blessing. You got to obey. You got to be honest. Just be faithful. God got a blessing. God got a blessing. Waiting for you. Okay.
Bishop Bobby, Joe Davis, and receive him in love. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Thank you to God for my life and thank you for yours. Thank you him for each and every one that's out on time that you're out, showing that you are seeking for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of a true and a living God. Not a God that's in the sky, but a God that lives in each and every one of us. And we thank the God with the for that. We thank him for our emeritus overseer, our citizen overseer. Each and every one of you, our queen, uh, um, our sister Pat, all of you, amen, name by name. There's so many, uh, if, you, if you don't know what a happy look like, look at me. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many, so many uh, Israelites, thank for temple number one, the members that, that have served faithfully, and, and those Israelites that didn't belong to this particular temple, they came and served faithfully. Amen. Because this church plays a historical part in all our lives. Amen. Down through the years, Amen. this church uh, has been the home of our General Assembly for many years. Amen. So all of us can and glorify and praise the God of Israel for all the things that he's done, amen, through the bodies in which he's done it, amen. God ain't working out of the sky, he's working in bodies. So I'm not gonna blow on the time, I, I really happy, happy, happy. I got, lot, I got a lot to say, really. <laughs> amen. But, uh, but uh, I have time to say whatever I wanna say, amen. I'm thankful to God for Mother Gloria, my queen, amen. I'm thankful for the beautiful, beautiful happy anniversary sign back there, amen. Those that made it happen, we thank God really for you. Uh, we've been together 54 years. We had that paper 52, but that paper didn't make a marriage. <laughs> Amen. So I'm thanking God with the for her for standing by my side all these years. The choice was hers. And I think she made a good choice. <laughs> Amen. I know I did. <laughs> Amen. We're not going to blow the time. Like I said, I have many things to say. I, I was talking to uh, uh, one of my daughter, Jackie, today. Because I remember when I first met Gloria. She was Gloria Jean then. I, I, I start picking at Jackie, getting to her. <laughs> Amen. So I told her today, you're responsible. <laughs> Amen. But we had to laugh at that. But anyway, we thank God for you. Uh, we really appreciate you. I know time is far spent, uh, and we had a glorious time. Thank for all the ministers preaching. Uh, uh, as, as, as Bishop said, if we believe what we say, it'll last a lifetime. Amen. It's a matter of what you believe it or not. Amen. Amen. And we thank the God for that. And, 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 and we're moving on. Amen. Uh, because the God of Israel said so. Amen. Y'all hear me? <laughs> Amen. Uh, I better quit. I'm thanking God for you. I'm th glad to see those. See, I'm glad to see my little, little sweetheart over there. Amen. Uh, since she's going to come, she came. Amen. All of you are happy, happy, happy. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. So let's come out and have a glorious time tomorrow night.
Remember, 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 God is still in charge. Amen. Somebody say that. God, the God of Israel, is still in charge. Yeah. He ain't got to worry about nothing. Just trust in the God of Israel. Don't be like Job. Yeah, Amen. Thing got kind of tough. He doubted. He weeped. And God told him to sound. Hey, Amen. I ain't gonna. <laughs> nah. Hey, Amen. But God did tell him to stand up like a man. Hey, Amen. Oh, woman. Hey, Amen. But the God of Israel is still in charge. Regardless of what you're going through, regardless of what you got to go through, regardless of your state of being or your state of mind, you remember this the God of Israel is still in charge. Back in the hand out, says no. Oh, you got a different thing. Amen. All right. All right. We'll get ready to actually place the people on the floor and demonstrate, our come, demonstrate it come to us. And the demonstrator tonight is our assistant overseer, Bishop Harvey Beebles. Give him a hand. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to visit you from the spiritual side of life. I want to be thankful for my teacher, the late Bishop Alan Cox, and my instructor, the late Bishop Sidney L. Smith. Well, you don't have to sing. Our King has just demonstrated to us whatever you're going through, Whatever state of mind you may be in, continue to trust mm. in the God of Israel. I hope you gain the thought. Somebody make a phone call. Yeah. Tell somebody who in charge. Yeah. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Let's give the King of Israel another round of applause. Right here, I'm going to turn this service back into the hands of the assistant pastor. Temple number one. Let's receive him, Elder Hawthorne Smith. Amen. All right, y'all. I rise.
assistant chairman of the Deacon Board, and I, Reverend Mother Barbara Freeman, reading the financial report and the envelopes. Let's cheer the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. These three are one for the service back in the hands of our own evangelist elder, Dennis Willie. We thank you, Reverend Mother Barbara Freeman, for the reading of the financial report. We thankful for all of those that came out. Looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow night. Tell a neighbor, tell a friend, come on over here where the table is spread. The feast of the Lord is going on. That being all, we're going to prepare for our closing ceremony. I want Elder Jerry Finley. We're going to ask you to use love and be love. Let us hear Elder Jerry Finley. I rise giving honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, asking everyone to stand. Place your right hand over your heart. Keep your mind on the God of all Israel as a closing ceremony is being conducted. Let us sing, please. peace now may the peace and the love and the love of the great God of Israel of the great God of Israel and the love of his son and the love of his son Jesus Christ Jesus Christ and the communion and the communion of the Holy Ghost of the Holy Ghost all be in all be in and go with us all and go with us all from this meeting from this meeting may the God of Israel may the God of Israel keep love's banner keep love's banner floating over us keep floating over us smite death smite death threatening ways threatening ways before us before us and grant to and grant to that we may so love him we may so love him that we will love that we will love and cleave and cleave one to another one to another and this we do know and this we do know that if we will and if we will with all of our heart with all our heart soul soul mind mind and strength and strength love thee o god of israel love thee o god of israel we shall receive we shall receive and possess and possess the kingdom of david the kingdom of david in this world in this world and thou wilt send unto us and thou wilt send unto us all the kingdoms of god all the kingdoms of god and heaven and heaven and if we truly love and if we truly love thee thou wilt bless us to be thou wilt bless us to be the true israel the true israel of god of god and then we shall enter and then we shall enter into thy everlasting kingdom into thy everlasting kingdom which has no end which has no end this this and all other blessings and all other blessings that thou seest we need thou see it we need we ask we ask in the name of the father in the name of the father and the son and the son and the holy ghost and the holy ghost amen 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 amen, amen. amen. amen.